What is going on everybody? It is Jack with Team Aquascape. Usually you guys see us put in a pond. Today I'm going to show you guys how we take out a pond. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Sorry about all the noise in our warehouse right now and we're gonna show you guys how to tear out a pond. So let me show you guys what we're gonna do in the beginning stages of what we're gonna do. In this project, it's a little bit different considering that we are in our sandbox and we are gonna be using the same existing hole and we are kind of constricted to what we do. Kind of similar to out in the field when we're doing our projects. So we're gonna come in here. The first thing would be to fabric everything and cover everything. And we have turf right now, usually it would be grass. And so we come in here with our mats, we would fabric all of our patio, all our hard surfaces that we're gonna be walking over. And then the second step would be to figure out where our staging area is gonna be at. When we're staging all this rock, we wanna make sure that it's not in the way. When we start digging the pond and we start doing our next steps in the project, so in this instance, we're gonna be staging the rock over here. So with the academies, we set the bleachers up here and we're gonna have all the rock staged back here in buckets. And that way it's efficient as possible for us to build this pond, because we're gonna be building this pond in four hours. So the guys are gonna come in here and step three is gonna be moving that pumping over here, draining this water. Normally, if this was an existing pond, there probably would be fish in here if homeowner did not take them out already. So we're, we would come in here, set up a blue tank that we have sitting in our shop area. We would drain the water from the pond inside the blue tank and then move the fish into our holding tanks. And that way, if the homeowner didn't want the fish, they can take care of them. Or we would just put the fish back in once we're done building the new feature. So in this instance, we're going to be draining this water into our clean-out tank or our clean-out sitting right over there. So that dumps down into our sewer and we can discharge this water and we're not making a muddy mess back here. So with further ado, we're going to get this clean up pump in, start draining this pond, and start pulling up this pond. So guys, right now we're pulling up all of our edges, exposing that liner so we can pull that liner up, make sure no dirt and sand gets inside the water and inside this gravel to murky it up. And that way it just makes our jobs a little bit easier. Once we put this pond back in, because we're gonna try to save as much gravel as possible and put it in buckets. And that way we don't have to clean as much once we get the pond in during the academy. So Josh right now is just pulling the skimmer apart. And what I mean by that is just he's pulling the pump out, getting all the components out of there. That way we can start fresh during the academy. So yeah, we're just waiting for this pond to drain. Once we get the pond and all the water drained out we'll come in start our way from the skimmer and work our way out of here that way it's, we're not doing double work and we're not trampling on top of everybody and that we're trying to be as efficient as possible So we got probably 90% of the rock torn out. We're just working on the waterfalls, tearing those out right now. So you see right now, Josh is rinsing down this gravel. And the reason why we're rinsing down this gravel right now is just to clean gravel and make it clean for, because we're going to be reusing it. And like I said earlier, time is money when we're doing the academy. So we want to make sure that this is nice and clean. We're putting it into these buckets. That way we can just toss it in here. So we tore all the cobbles out with all the hand sides. We put them in our Gaylords, put it off to the side, and then move all our, our granite off into our staging area. So that way it's all easily accessible so as you guys can see as i mentioned earlier we have our mats down here and then the cement we didn't have to cover because um, it's a cement we're just taking our ball carts and running them back and forth we're not tracking anything out into here so we got our sorry it's, it's still a functioning warehouse out here as everyone is kind of buzzing around with forklifts getting all the product to you guys so we got one gaylord of cobble sitting here so that's all the cobbles that we used out of this entire pond and then this is all of our granite that we used so it's kind of weird seeing what we went from the pond and then now to this so this is our stage area so we're just kind of cooking away at this trying to get all this done normally granite would probably be a little bit closer for us when we're doing a pond so that way it's just nice and easy accessible and we, we don't have a stack slate urn sitting off to the side so we're just kind of the logistical things that we have to worry about when we're tearing out a pond because it's not just dig the hole and put a new project in the ground it's tearing out the pond making sure everything's staged and we're not doing double work in the future
So guys, as you guys can see, we got everything removed from the pond. We got it all torn out. The liner, rock, gravel, it is all staged back at our staging area. I'm just gonna give you guys a recap of what we did. So when we got on site, AKA in the sandbox, we drained this pond. We wanted to move all that water away from where we were working at. We moved all the rock and gravel out of the pond. We started with all the cobbles, put all the cobbles in our Gaylord sitting back behind me. We then grabbed all of our big granite out of the way. And then we went through and rinsed all of our gravel. That way it was nice and clean for us to go back and use this for the academy that way it's just smooth process and smooth sailing for us then we pulled all of our liner and fabric out through the, threw that away and now we're here so normally you guys see our features being built at the end of the project but this one you guys are seeing a hole in the ground with of course our skimmer and biofall staying in because of the academy we need to keep that in there just so we could streamline our processes a little bit easier so everything is all covered up uh, we still have a little bit of things to do back here so we're going to keep the plywood and the fabric on our turf that way we don't mess anything up back here but this is all that we use inside of the sandbox in that area. So we probably have two dozen buckets of gravel and then a Gaylord of cobbles and then all of our granite back here. So it's probably a good four or five tons that we use back here. And that all came out of this hole here. So 15 by 20 liner was used on this project, Skimmer 1000 and a Signature Series 2500 Biofalls. Like I said earlier, that's all staying in the ground. I just wanted to show you guys how we, Team Aquascape, removed a pond. So it is Jack with Team Aquascape signing out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment sections. I know me and a bunch of other guys do look at the comments. So it means a lot to us whenever you guys are commenting and, and we like to see what you guys have to say and engage. So hope you guys have a fantastic day and we will talk to you guys later.